Today, we're going to be making an automatic chicken water. Let's go. Okay, so we have the bulkhead fitting, which is going to fit a hose coming inside, length of PVC pipe up into the float valve. Let's go hook it up. And here is the final product. Hose is turned on, cracked on, water's coming up, filling up the feeder. Once it gets to the top, water will shut off. So let's dive into the specifics of how I actually made this. All right, so here are our supplies. We have a commode float valve, PVC pipe with thread to match the float valve into an elbow, into a length of PVC, into a transition to go from the PVC to MPT, MPT into a bulkhead, and then that bulkhead's gonna go into a garden hose, which will hook up to the faucet. Let's get building. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm threading the float valve onto the PVC threaded portion of the pipe. Now the PVC pipe that I'm using is a FIP female iron pipe. The float valve is a NPT, National Pipe Thread. The two threads do mesh together, they have the same angle. However, the float valve's thread tapered at the bottom, so I ended up cutting off the last about quarter inch to eighth inch of the float valve thread where the taper was most severe. So when I threaded it into the PVC pipe, all of the thread fully meshed with the float valve and the PVC pipe, then used Teflon tape to seal those threads. I then took a threaded PVC elbow so one side of the PVC elbow was threaded, the other side was the traditional PVC fitting. Applied the Teflon tape and I threaded that into it. Then I dry fitted the actual PVC pipes. I didn't really measure it. What I did was I cut a small portion off of my eight foot section of PVC pipe and then just continually cut off smaller pieces until I got the float valve roughly into the center of my feeder and that is including the other end of that PVC pipe where it's a tr traditional PVC fitting onto a male threaded portion to go into my bulkhead. Once I got everything dry fit then it was time to drill the hole where the bulkhead fitting would actually fit through. The bulkhead I used required a one and a quarter inch hole so I started out with a small drill bit, then subsequently worked my way up to get that inch and a quarter hole. Once I got the hole drilled, I inserted the bulkhead and I tightened the nut down on it using two channel locks. So now that I got the bulkhead in, I put Teflon tape on my threaded adapter to go into the bulkhead. And then the other one, other side of that was the traditional PVC fitting. Once I got that in, it was time to cement the actual PVC pieces together. So at this point, I made a mistake. I should have cemented the straight adapter from the threaded into the traditional PVC fitting first, and then cemented the elbow in, and then twisted in the threaded portion connecting my float valve to it. I did that in reverse. I did the elbow. Then when I went to go do the threaded portion, I actually took the threaded portion out of my bulkhead fitting, cemented it on my bench. And then when I went to go thread it in, the bulkhead was too low to where when I would twist my combined PVC piece, the elbow would actually hit the base. So I wouldn't, wasn't able to actually thread it in appropriately which led to some great confusion and difficulty and ended up getting it to work. I had to untighten the bulkhead, twist it in, and jerry-rig it to actually get into place. So when you're doing this, make sure you have your order of operations correctly so you don't have to create extra work for yourself like I did. 
After I suffered through the penance of my own stupidity, I was finally able to get all the pieces together. The bulkhead into the water, the PVC contraption connected to the bulkhead, and then the float valve on top of the PVC. And now it's time to take it outside, hook it up. Is that recording right now? Yeah. Is my, are you going to put the audio on it? No. Yeah. Are you going to let show Lassie drinking water? Ooh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Love it. Everything's clean. I know, I love fish time. I really like the chicken coop. I'm glad you really like the chicken coop. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this.